Hello and welcome to another Spastic Anger tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over an incredible new feature in Blender, which is Subsurf Scattering. Um, you can get it, uh, Blender, a Blender build which supports it from builder.blender.org slash download, and it has to be since April 2nd. And all of them are except for Mac OS X 32-bit, um, but I've got OS X 64-bit, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add a Suzanne. Don't be so laggy. Okay. So we're going to add Suzy. Eh, not a Taurus. A Suzanne. And give it smooth shading. And add a subdivision surface modifier. And now let's go to the materials panel. Um, and make sure you're in cycles. So when you hit new, you can select subsurface scattering. So, Suzanne has really thin ears, Oops. so we're going to be using a really strong backlight to demonstrate um, what subsurf scattering looks like. So let's just create a plane that emits, give it an emission, and set the strength to something like 4 or 5. Now, we have Suzanne, so let's give it a flesh color tone. Um, this is going to be the base color upon which um, the other colors, the subsurf scattering, will be applied to. So we're going to give it some sort of flesh tone, and we're going to set the radius um, of the first value to 4. Depending on this value, you will have either more or less red, green, or blue, um, shining through uh, light allowed to go through the object. So this is R, and flesh tone is um, reddish, so set it to something about 4 or 5. And then the scale is the scale of um, the subsurf scattering. And in Blender, previous versions of Blender, when you'd use Blender Render for subsurf scattering, this scale would be very high for larger objects. But in cycles, it's the opposite. You're going to have to set it lower. And for this scale of Suzanne right now, I found that about 0.07 .07 works. Um, you can go up to 0.1, but after that, you'll lose definition. OK, so let's position our camera now. Shift F to fly. Um, so yeah, we're going to oh, renew rotation along the on the camera and rotate it up so we can see. And let's make this plane a little bigger. Okay, so now if we go to preview render, um, actually just let me put this on static quickly, um, static BVH, um, so we don't have to re, it, it won't take as long to render. and you will see big pixels showing through. And the first thing you'll notice is that it looks a little, like you'll notice the red, obviously, that's shining through, but you'll also notice that there's some greens and blues, especially when we like start rendering. It's very green. Um, and I'm not sure if this is going to be how it is in the um, end, if it's gonna be like this inaccurate at the beginning. Um, this might just be how subsurface scattering works, but over time it will disappear, so don't worry about that. Let me actually turn it off. Um, background too, so we've got pure black. All right. So yeah, you'll see a little bit of red or I mean green or blue showing through at the beginning, but just give it time, um, and that those should disappear. Um, the other thing is, even in the notes, um, the guy that's developing this said that. Um, whoever, whoever at least submitted this said that it's a little bit slow right now and you really slow and grainy and you will really have to set it um, your sampling up a lot to make it work um, I found that it has to be even higher than 500 about 7 or 800 um, so let's set this to 800 and see what it looks like so I'll pause the recording and when I come back we'll see what it looks like 
and this is our result. So we have substrate scattering on the ears is where we especially notice it, um, but it's also slightly noticeable in certain areas such as right here. You can see that little bit of red and right there. And this is like just great for doing uh, skin texturing, um, skin materials I mean. And this will work really well for things like uh, fruits, vegetables, and milk. And I read somewhere that substrate scattering is essentially in every object, um, even a small amount other than metals. So this is awesome and it will give you greater ability to create more realistic scenes. That's all I have for you this time. If there are any more updates on this awesome feature, I will uh, do another video on it. But for now, this is all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. And I will see you all later.